Welcome back. I'm Chris Albanese, Director of Education for Real Estate Academy of Orlando. Uh, back with another math question here. Uh, the question we're looking at next is going to be a uh, variable or uh, index lease. Uh, index lease typically is going to be found in a commercial property. What an index lease is designed to do is to allow the both the tenant and the landlord to plan out what the rent is going to be over the term of the lease. Most commercial leases are longer term, uh, as short as three years, they can go as long as uh, 20, 50, or even 100 year lease. Now, because we have these long stretches of time in these leases, uh, it's only fair for both the tenant and the landlord to have uh, set increases or decreases in the rent over time. Now, one of the ways we can do this is with an index lease. A lot of times with an index lease, we'll tie the lease itself to uh, a verifiable index number like the consumer price index. So if we tie it to the, the CPI, if the consumer price index goes up by 25% and the lease renews every year or the, the rent readjusts every year, uh, when the consumer price index goes up, the rent goes up. CPI goes down, the rent would go down. That's the general idea behind an index lease. So let's figure out how we answer one of the questions here. So first question we have, uh, we've got a building. It rents for $25 per square foot. It starts with an index of 1.2. The index increases to 1.5. What is the adjusted rental rate? So we know the rent is gonna go up. Now before we even get into any math here, just a, a tip on uh, handling multiple choice questions. Both the school test is gonna be multiple choice and the state exam is also multiple choice. Now, look at the four answers that they've given to you. Do any of those answers, uh, are they less than $25 per square foot? If they are, then that would mean the rent is going down. We know those are automatically wrong. Just looking at the question, it tells us the index increases. So we know we're looking for a number greater than $25 per square foot. So that's just gonna help uh, a little bit there, but let's solve the actual problem. Now, we know we started with an index of 1.2 and we're ending at an index of 1.5 for this adjustment period. So we're going to calculate this in a very, very simple way. What we're going to do is we're going to take our new rate. So that's our new rate. And we're going to divide that by our old rate or our starting rate. So the old rate. So what we have is 1.5 divided by 1.2. And when we uh, put that into our calculator, 1.5 divided by 1.2, we end up with 1.25. Now this isn't our final answer here, but this is the most important step. It's telling us how much the rent is going up. At 1.25, then we know the rent is increasing by 25%. If the rent didn't change at all, if we started with an index of 1.2 and the index was still 1.2 one year later, we would still calculate it. We do 1.2 divided by 1.2 and we get an answer of 1.0, meaning the rent is going to be 100% of what it was last year. Really, that's no change. So in this case, we have a uh, 1.25, so we know the rent is going up by 25%. Now, we know the rent is $25 a foot. If we multiply that by 25% or 1.25, we're gonna get our new rental rate here. So we have 1.25 times $25 a foot. And our new rental rate is $31.25 per square foot. And that is it. That's how we solve the index lease question. If you have any other questions like this, please let us know. Uh, reach out to us at info at reaorlando.com or visit us on the web at realestateacademyoforlando.com. Again, Christopher Albanese, I'm Director of Education here. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in class.